Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train and I've got a fun video for you today. I've got a Dollar Tree 4th of July barbecue dinner. As usual, please read the blog post in the description before you say anything about the health factor and the cost factor. We already know. This video, a lot of you have been asking for some sort of like barbecue slash 4th of July Dollar Tree meal, and I actually had a lot of fun doing this. This is a small family dinner. There's three of us, so I didn't want to do anything huge. So I did something that's probably for a smaller family. If you have a bigger family, it's definitely more cost efficient to do this somewhere else. But since there's only three of us, and since there may be only like one or two of you, this this would be perfect. And there are many different combinations of things you can do for a barbecue dinner at Dollar Tree. I looked around and I saw so many different things I could do, but I ultimately settled on hamburgers instead of hot dogs, which would have been a good option as well. So the items on my menu for today are hamburgers, pasta salad, a three bean salad, and a red, white, and blue trifle dessert. A lot of you said that I better do some sort of red, white, and blue dessert, and I think I delivered on that. I paid about $13 for everything in this dinner, so like I said, it's more cost efficient to do it somewhere else, but I had a lot of fun picking out all the items that go in this. I will say too, this dinner is a whole lot higher in calories than what we usually do. Now, because it is a 4th of July meal and it's a special holiday, I mean, a lot of the times calories don't matter. But if you're making this as just a regular dinner, just keep that in mind and I'm gonna show you some of that stuff throughout the video as well. First things first though, let me take you through the store, show you what I bought, and then we'll get into the cooking. I'll be honest with you, I thought I was going to have to pivot because I could not find those hamburger patties anywhere. I was looking all over and then I saw the hot dogs. I'm like, okay, what can I put on hot dogs and everything? And I had all that planned out, but then I double checked the freezers for the second time and I found them. I've seen so many people here on YouTube, like buy these patties. Some of them actually use them as hamburgers. Some of them use them as like ground meat in recipes. So. I'm glad I was able to find them because I wanted to try them for so, so long. And then of course, buns for the hamburgers. They have all sorts of different kinds of bread, hot dog buns, hamburger buns, Hawaiian rolls, bagels. So I grabbed a package of hamburger buns. Now I knew I wanted pasta salad and they had a couple different kinds. Since I was feeding just like the three of us or maybe just me and John, I went for the smaller box of the Suddenly Salad. I knew that served two people and they had a couple different kinds, but I settled on the ranch and bacon one. It sounded pretty good. Next up is the stuff for the three bean salad. I was kind of making stuff up at this point. Um, so I bought a can of green beans, a can of kidney beans, and then a can of chickpeas. I was gonna use a couple of things at home to put that salad stuff together. And then cheese. I don't like their sliced cheese at all. So instead I grabbed a block of their pepper jack, which is real cheese. My plan is to shred it for the hamburgers. Next is the dessert. And I wanted to make a red, white, and blue sort of dessert. So I grabbed a bag of frozen strawberries and blueberries, thinking they would probably go pretty well in a dessert. And they usually don't have Cool Whip here, but today, thankfully they did. Somehow they just knew that I was going in looking for Cool Whip. The last thing I needed for this dessert was cake mix. They have a couple different kinds, but since it's gonna be a red, white, and blue dessert, I thought I would grab the vanilla, which is a white cake mix. So here's all the stuff. You might need a couple extra things like eggs, oil for the, the cake, and then mayonnaise for the pasta salad, but otherwise, pretty much everything else is what you see here. Let's get started. First thing I need to do is make the cake for the trifle. So this uh, vanilla cake mix, I need water, I need oil, which I'm gonna use applesauce instead, and then I need four egg whites. So you can buy that at your local Dollar Tree if you need to, but I have all the stuff at home. But this needs to bake for like 40 minutes or so, and then it needs to cool completely before we can make the trifle. So before we do anything else, we just have to make the cake. I don't know about you, but I think that trifles are one of the easier desserts to make. 
And you can make them look pretty fancy too. I think the hardest part is just actually baking the cake. But you know, for something like this, I, you could probably buy like a, an already made angel food cake from the store. I think that would be pretty cool too. But I'm using what I have from Dollar Tree, so this will work as well. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do the fruit yet because there, it's frozen. And I don't know if the frozen fruit is going to do well in the trifle, so I might try to get it out ahead of time and let it all thaw before I put them in. Not quite sure how it's gonna work, but we'll see. All right, so I sort of failed at the whole egg white thing, but I think it'll be okay. The applesauce, I will help with the calories. Not that, you know, we're paying attention to calories with something like this, but it does help to reduce the calories and the fat content. I think the one thing I like about trifles is that if I mess up the cake, it's okay because I'm just tearing the cake into pieces anyway. I'm not always perfect when it comes to like making the cake look pretty, so I think that's why trifles are my thing. Alright, that looks pretty good. This will probably need to bake for between 36 and 40 minutes, I think it said. So while this is going, we need to get the other salads started. I've got water boiling right now for the pasta salad, so while I'm waiting for that, I may as well get my three bean salad ready. So to be honest with you, I'm not really sure uh, what exactly is going on here. I have somewhat of a recipe in mind, but I've just got the chickpeas, I have the kidney beans, and the green beans. I'm going to drain and rinse these. Then I'm going to mix in some balsamic vinegar, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and salt and pepper. It sounds like it's going to be a pretty good recipe, so I guess we'll figure it out. Now again, I'm not really following a recipe, but I'm going to estimate maybe a couple, two or three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar and maybe like a teaspoon of garlic powder and Italian seasoning and then just some salt and pepper until it looks good. So I, for one, am really glad that I'm getting all of this done early in the morning. It's currently 8 a.m. and it's summertime, which means it gets hot. So I've got the oven on, I've got the stove on, but luckily since it is early in the morning, it is only 64 degrees outside, so I will have all of my major cooking done before it gets too hot. Now this is going in the fridge for later. Alright, the water is boiling. I've got the salad pasta salad mixture here so the packet comes out the pasta goes in and then we'll cook that for this is like 10 or 11 minutes while we are waiting on the pasta to cook we need to put together the dressing so it's just a third cup of mayo along with that packet so I'll be honest like I don't know if I have ever used the suddenly salad mix I've always just kind of made my own pasta salad but I can see why people would like this so much because it's so convenient. And this package, anyway, only serves two. So if you, technically it only serves two. So if you were only feeding like yourself or a couple of people, then this would be perfect. Oh man, I smell that bacon ranch. I, I guess that's the one I got. I, there were two different kinds and I think I decided on the bacon ranch one. Smells amazing. So a second ago, I mentioned something about how this serves too, just like serving sizes. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more later as well, especially when it comes to that hamburger. But I wanted to bring this to your attention now because when I saw the nutrition info on this, I was actually blown away. This box right here, it serves two. So if you look over here, it says there are two servings per container. And a serving size is either a half cup, just plain packaged as it is, or 
um, three fourths cup prepared. So that is after you cook the pasta salad, after you mix together the mayo and dressing and put it all together. That is a three fourths cup prepared. So two servings, three fourths cup each. Now if you look, the calorie amount for one serving is 430 calories when that is all put together. Now, I will say you do not have to count calories in order to stay healthy. You don't have to count calories in order to lose weight, but I do encourage you to at least be mindful of how many calories are in food, because if you're not careful, you could accidentally overeat every single day. And if you have at least a good idea of the nutrition info in your foods, then I think you'll be all set. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention, like 430 calories for almost a cup of this. I mean, 400 calories is almost an entire meal for some people. And if you think about it, I'm also eating a hamburger and the beans salad and even the dessert later so I mean that can add up after a while so like I said you don't have to count calories to stay healthy but it is good to be aware of things like this pasta salad is looking pretty good it looks like it is all done so I'll go ahead and drain it rinse it off with cold water and then we'll get the salad started And another side item down. Now we get to wait for the cake to finish. Ooh, this cake smells amazing. And it is completely done. So we need to let this cool for probably a couple hours and then we can get the trifle ready. This bowl was actually a Dollar Tree find as well. I don't have a trifle dish or a trifle bowl, whatever you wanna call it, but I saw this, it is clear, it is big. I thought it would go perfect with my dessert. So I just did a couple of layers. The first layer was a little bit of the cake and then a little bit of the Cool Whip. And then I sprinkled some of the blueberries and then some of the strawberries on top. I sort of let them thaw a little bit. They were still kind of frozen when I put them on, but I think I repeated the layer or I did like three layers of this. So it was just cake, Cool Whip, and then the strawberries and blueberries until everything was gone. Look how pretty it is. The bowl may have been a little bit too big, but it's okay. I put some plastic wrap on top and put it in the fridge, and now we just need to wait until dinner time. I started out by shredding this pepper jack cheese. It's really hard to shred because it's just it's so thin. I know some of you have said use a food processor and that would work as well. I just put it in a bag to save for later. I'm getting ready to put these burgers on the George Foreman grill, but I wanted to show these to you first. Now, this is what I found in the freezer section. You remember how I was talking a little bit ago about calories, nutrition info, how you should at least be mindful of what you're eating? Well, if you take a look at this, each hamburger patty is 370 calories. Now, honestly, that is quite a bit for a hamburger patty. I would expect to have that much for like an entire hamburger with the bun, cheese, burger, and everything. So still gonna eat it, but I just need to be more mindful in the future and maybe try another one instead. I'm interested in seeing how these are. I've seen a lot of YouTubers try them. They said they're really good. So let's give it a shot. 
Okay, so first of all, these were kind of hard to separate. I had to actually get a knife and pull these guys apart. But the, oh my gosh, you know, I used to work at McDonald's. These look just like the quarter pounder patties. So let me get all four of them on there. There we go. Now these are probably cooked for 10 to 12 minutes or so. Oh man, these guys are done. That's awesome. And they look and smell seriously amazing. So let's get these. Actually, I want to grab a little bit of cheese. I'll put a little cheese on just two of them. And then from here, we will put them on the burgers. Oh my goodness, this actually looks really good. I am excited to dig in. All right, you all like seeing a taste test, so here is the ultimate taste test. The three bean salad is really, really good. I like how I added the balsamic vinegar to it, and I mean, the salt and pepper Italian seasoning, this is something I would totally make again. The pasta salad is okay. Um, probably could use a little bit of salt to it, but not too bad. I kind of prefer my own homemade pasta salad. So the moment we've been waiting for, I want to know how is this hamburger? You know, I'm kind of surprised. It's actually really good. It um, was crispy from the grill. It's got a really nice flavor to it. Um, I might buy it again sometime, but let's enjoy dinner and then we'll get to dessert. What do you think? you all enjoyed this. I had a ton of fun making it. I mean, as you can see, when I saw this thing, I'm like, there's no way I can leave the store without it. So hopefully you enjoyed what I made. I liked the three bean salad the most, I think. I mean, the hamburgers are pretty good, but that three bean salad, I might try to make that more often. Now I've got a playlist down below of all of my other Dollar Tree meals, and I've done one for almost every single holiday so far. I've done Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, Valentine's Day. So make sure you check all of those out. And in the meantime, if you have any more ideas on what to do for Dollar Tree meals, let me know. I'm looking for more ideas. And as usual, if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and do so right now. It helps me out a lot. Like this video and ring that bell, and that way you'll be notified when more crazy videos like this come out, as well as my other grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a safe holiday. I will see you later. Did you know I offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching? Whether your goal is to lose weight, eat healthier, or just want to know how to get started, I can help. You can schedule a free weight loss discovery call by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to chat with you.